The Commonwealth Games is one of the biggest sporting events in the world with 6,500 athletes and officials from 71 nations and territories competing for a whole range of medals from athletics to swimming to lawn bowls and beach volleyball. More than a billion people watch the opening ceremony and for some it's the pinnacle of their sport. The 2018 edition of the Commonwealth Games is here on the Gold Coast in Australia, about an hour's drive south of Brisbane. It's Australia's sixth biggest city and they've spent over a billion pounds getting it ready to be the host city. But there's not just sport here though. Cycling and shooting are in Brisbane and the preliminary rounds of the basketball are a two and a half hour flight away in Townsville and Cairns. <laughs> These games are the first where the para-athletes have been able to compete alongside their able-bodied colleagues in a full multi-sport games like this and it means that their medals contribute to the overall medal table. It's not all been smooth sailing though, in some of the events there have been very few competitors like the women's blind and visually impaired track cycling where there were just three competitors. <laughs> When England topped the medal table in Glasgow in 2014, they ended a run of six straight games where Australia had finished top and the home nation this year are desperate to reclaim top spots. There are 474 members of Team Australia down under compared to England's team of 394 and it will almost certainly be a straight shootout between those two countries for top spot in this year's medal table. In four years' time, 2022, the Games will be in Birmingham, following in the footsteps of Manchester in 2002 and Glasgow in 2014. But it wasn't originally intended to be that way. Durban in South Africa had been awarded those Games, but had to withdraw because of financial problems. And in December, it was announced that Birmingham would step in and take on the role of host city in 2022. And at the closing ceremony of these Games on the Gold Coast, there will be a short section where the baton will be passed over to Birmingham and they will take up the mantle of being the host city of these games. But we've got a lot of sport to get through before then.